all right welcome back to my Concord X flight tutorials uh, in this tutorial we'll be uh, accomplishing uh, or reviewing climb and um, getting up to speed North speed we want to reach today is uh, two knots excuse me two mocks and um, we want to get at a cruising altitude of 50,000 feet all right, we're hitting some turbulence right now, and our current altitude is 7,000 feet. Now, throughout this tutorial, I'll be stopping and um, starting a video as we get to different stages of the flight. So, right now, I'm going to pause the video until we reach a uh, certain stage that I think it may be uh, important for you guys to learn. All right. Okay, we're approaching 10,000 feet. Uh, you could say um, this is our first stage of our climb and what we want to do here is uh, shift 4 and we want to turn off our landing lights and our taxi lights okay and right now we're above 10,000 feet so we also want to increase our knots to 400 And we also want to reheat our engines. Control F4, Control F4. And I want you to pay attention to another dial that I'll mention right now. And that right here is your speed indicator. Alright, this little ye yellow and black indicator here is showing you what you can do as far as your max speed at certain altitudes and you want to pay attention attention to that while you climb because you don't want to exceed past that because it puts a lot of stress on your airplane and eventually it will break apart and you don't want that now the higher you go this will increase so that means the, f the faster you can go all right so we have reached uh, past 10,000 feet which we can go more than 240 knots and uh, I'm going to pause the video again um, until we reach our second stage of our climb alright uh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, and you can do this before uh, you get this far into your flight is set your VOR frequency and our first VOR we're going to hit is FMN and this radio frequency is 115.30 so we'll set that on both radios just to get that prime okay now we reach 26,000 feet and what you want to do here is turn your auto throttles off and keep it on full throttle now we want to uh, reach uh, 50,000 feet you can go as high as 60,000 I pretty much go about 50,000 and what you want to do here with your angle attack you want to keep it anywhere from 8 degrees to 12 degrees alright right now we're just gonna get our speed up here okay once we start getting close to 400 knots we want to set our altitude indicator at 50,000 feet which is our cruising altitude again you want to make sure that your angle attack is anywhere from 8 degrees to 12 degrees that way you can maintain a good speed all right we'll hit our altitude hold take off our autopilot and we'll start climbing and again remember to keep your auto throttles off and just hit full throttle now you want to click on your IAS hold just click on it. it doesn't have to illuminate and what that does is once you start getting up to Mach 2 with when you hit auto throttles it will hold that Mach. okay so 
right now we're um, continuing our climb to 50,000 feet and Mach 2 so I'm gonna pause the video and once we get close to reaching that I'll stop I'll start the video back just so you can see just one thing I want to show you is that right now we're about at 37,000 feet and you can see that our speed restriction has ra raised up uh, it's sitting at about 450 knots we're currently at about 350 knots uh, our speed is dropping a little bit and uh, when I pause the video the next time I'll show you how to compensate for that okay uh, our speed is at about 318 knots right now we're at about 41,000 feet so uh, there's two ways to get your speed back up uh, you can hit max climb or you can just usually this is what I do I take autopilot off and just change my angle of attack to drop down a few thousand feet just to get my speed back up alright we're about at 420 knots so I'll continue my climb activate my autopilot and that's it okay we're back uh, just to keep you guys updated I changed my angle of attack at uh, 5 degrees and I was able to maintain a steady climb and not lose too much speed alright I want you to take a look at this indicator down here which is letting you know exactly how many knots you're going and right now we're going 1.99 knots okay we're almost at Mach 2 okay now we want to go and just click on our IAS hole switch doesn't have to illuminate right now okay and once we get exactly at two knots excuse me I keep saying knots I apologize mock two what we want to do now our indicator is saying that we're at mock two it just click switch both auto throttles on auto throttle one and auto throttle two on and that way you'll maintain your current mock all right and there we have it we achieved Mach 2 at 50,000 feet and we conserved a lot of our fuel and I want to apologize guys for mumbling and stumbling over my words sometimes I'm not really too familiar uh, actually I don't have too much flight time in this Concorde and these are my first tutorials so I kinda be concentrating and I'll mumble over my words a little bit so I apologize if you guys wanna leave a comment on my page I'll try to come a little bit clearer on that on my comments alright so we're at Mach 2 at 50,000 feet our next tutorial will be doing a in-flight INSD DME update Thanks for watching.